to May and your career and money reading. This is for your rising sign. This video right here will tell you why you should watch this for your rising sign and not your sun sign. If you don't give a shit, go ahead and watch it, whatever, but it's going to be more accurate for your rising sign. Um, we're going to cover what do career and money look like for you in general this month? What should you be looking forward to? What's going to be your biggest annoyance? Where to look more closely and then general advice and guidance for you. Um, the decks I'm using are this one here, the Psychic Tarot Oracle, which is actually a tarot deck and not an oracle deck, and then the um, Number Guidance deck. Okay, let's get started. Oh, there's links in the description box below um, that are affiliate links for each of these decks. If you like the deck and you want one for yourself, because that's a common question I get in the comments, um, it doesn't cost you more to get them through that link. It just helps me keep making these videos. Okay, let's get started. So, generally, what is the career vibe for you this month? And what is the money vibe for you this month, Pisces? Okay, so your career vibe is relationship change. You're starting to think about you know, maybe what it isn't is that you don't like about your career. What would be better for you? How can you move forward? Um, now, for many of you in regards to your career, there's fear there um, and that you need to be patient before you make any big moves. Now, they're talking about adventure, okay? Out with the old, in with the new. Trying something new and different this month as a theme for your career. Now, in regards to your money, what they're saying is that um, you know our pride can be affecting our money and then the numerology here is like a new beginning to have a more meaningful career is possible for you so you know can you build something that you would be proud of and if you're already building something that you'd be proud of awesome but you know in regards to your career maybe we want to talk about how we can change it and eliminate our fear um, and really move in the direction of our dreams, okay? So that's a general theme. What is it that you have to look forward to in regards to career and money? So in regards to career, for those of you who are still working during um, this pandemic stuff, what they're saying is recognition and reward is coming for you and you should gracefully receive it. For those of you who are not, what they're saying is that you might feel like there's not a lot of good choices out there for you really. Maybe you could find a different job, but maybe you want to go back to the one that you have. And so that's why um, that whole section, you know, where we began, began with, with the overarching theme of patience and thinking about, you know, is this going to be something that I should do because it's something I want to learn? Because it's like, you know, even though I'll go back to my old job, you know, is it an adventure, something I want to try? Or, but if it's not, then maybe you're better off kind of waiting. I suppose specifics would be better answered in a personal reading. Um, but overall, for Pisces rising specifically, that's the case. Um, it's interesting to me that your crystal of the month, which you might have seen in this video here, um, is carnelian, which kind of helps us to pacify our fear. So... It's all tying together. In regards to your money, um, basically what's happening here, like what you have to look forward to is better insight, better intuition. You're gonna know, you know, maybe money's short and you're gonna know what it's important that you pay and what it is that you, you don't. Or maybe you have some extra money and then you're kind of like, okay, should I apply this? to a credit card balance or should I hold on to it? And you know, your gut instincts are gonna be spot on. What's a good investment, what isn't? So that's fantastic news for you. What's your biggest annoyance this month in career and in money? In career, it's like, well, the biggest annoyance is almost nothing new is happening. Nothing to sort of make you contemplative or um, tempted to do something new and exciting. Even though the theme was adventure, like if that's not popping up for you, then just be patient and wait for it to pop up in June, July, or August. Because like I said, in regards to money, your intuition is spot on. So maybe the universe, God, spirit guides, whatever, kind of just gift you a brilliant idea, something that you could create as a side hustle business if you were interested. Um, as far as money goes, the biggest annoyance for you is um, 
you know, that when things happen and they kind of change quickly, it can affect your money energy and flow. And there's a shadow side, like a subconscious energy that maybe you're not aware of that you need to take a look at and address that could be screwing up that flow. Um, this blog post right here on my website, there's a link in the description box below, can kind of give you some tools and tips and tricks in order to change your energy to start um, keeping your money, but also manifesting more of it into your life. So where should you look more closely at career stuff? And then also in regards to money stuff. So in regards to career, um, it's similar to what you were feeling annoyed about in money. It's like what's brewing under the surface in the subconscious, what's not changing that maybe needs to in my career, in my path, in order to help me feel more satisfied in my life. Um, as far as money goes, they say, you know, what you need to look more closely at are the challenges associated with what you've lost or what's disappointing you um, in regards to money. So, you know, a common example might be investments. You know, how much of the value in a stock that you own has gone down. But you have to understand that these things are temporary and it could come back up. So what are we gonna sit here and be upset about it for? Maybe in 10 years from now, it'll be amazing. Um, so basically the general overall advice for you is like, don't trap yourself in fear. There's nothing to be afraid of. Use that carnelian crystal, as I mentioned. Um, open your heart chakra up as big as you can. Be open to receive um, love, care, and assistance from other people in the form of um, anything related to money or, or career, what, even if it's just advice, okay? Be, and also try to give a lot of love out, even not related to these sort of things like money and career, just in general, because that can help you receive um, opportunities and literally discounts and money if your heart chakra is wide open, um, because all of this is an exchange, okay? So that is May. I love you so much, Pisces. Thank you.